All right, everyone, welcome back to Central Coast Disc Golf. This is round two, part two of the Innova Open at the 28th Annual Texas State Disc Golf Championship. I am Nate Perkins, and I'm joined here with my fellow native Texan who we just found out we're from the same area, Holland Handley. Yeah, uh, fellow DFW native. Yeah. Crazy that we yeah. never knew that. You went to Colleyville Heritage. Colleyville Heritage. High school. I was just down the street. Pretty cool story. But you didn't start playing disc golf until. I moved to California in, uh, let's see, I moved to California in 2017, started playing in 2019. You started playing disc golf in 2019. End of 2019. And now you are the ninth ranked female player in the world. That is really impressive. Yeah, life's what do you crazy think about, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's your, yeah, it's a, disc golf has given me and so many others just a life I really couldn't have imagined. You must be feeling somewhat the same oh, full-time yeah. tour. Oh yeah, I've stopped trying to make too many plans for the future because apparently I'll change my mind. <laughs> we got Saya Nanda kicking us off on hole 10. This is a tricky one, 345 feet. She goes for that low kind of backhand line on the right side. There is an out of bounds line over there. So if you take a bad tree kick, that does come into play. Owen going that gap as well, but leaving it just a little bit low. That's Missy's stable thrasher. Yeah, and that was destroyer from Own and enforcer from Psy. And this is going to be another curl from Lisa. Oh. And yeah. She's kind of laughing at that. That was such a good line. Gets that late pine. Yeah, this is a tricky line because you really have to hit the ground late in order to get the right kind of skip, but there is a low ceiling. And then Owen trying to approach this really treacherous green as we see the, the camera panning. Basically, if you miss this basket on your putt attempt, you will roll away to a minimum of about 30 feet. We see Missy kind of sail it a little bit. Yeah, Holton playing as the second hardest hole. Yeah, did we? Yeah, this this one's tricky. I mean, even on Scoggins is laying up, y'all. That's how you know this is a scary putt. <laughs> that is a good indicator. Mm-hmm. Sai wanting no part of this. And Sai has Ooh. quite a quite a bit of room to play with. She shot six under on the front nine. Wow, Missy gave that a bid, and she's fortunate to have stayed up there. Oh, nice putt from Ooh. Lisa. It was a great par save. A little grunt right there little, from Lisa. I mean, yeah, if you make that putt, <laughs> you're going to grunt a little bit. That was a, that was nasty. Nice you know, little nose up spinner. I love, I've always loved the way Lisa kind of, she looks like she's a bull about to charge, you know, like with yeah, her back foot. She the like, little back foot. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. And it hasn't that. changed since, I mean, I started actually, Lisa and I started touring the same year 2016 and so i've wow. i've seen her play quite a bit over the years and uh her routine has not changed at all really cool to see yeah side tapping in her par missy and own both taking bogeys yeah let's take another look at that nice no flutter nose up spinner right into the chains just over the basket and we've got hole 11, par four, 630 feet. You've got a ton of room to work with. If you really want to open up and throw a distance line, now is the time. There's OB left of that cart path, uh, and then there is OB right, but it doesn't really come into play off the tee. You just want to land something out in the middle to give yourself a short as possible approach into basically the same green we just saw. This is another kind of tiered mound Again, if you miss this basket, you almost certainly will roll away. You need to make sure you land it soft on one of these tiers to give yourself a short putt. What's your best guess on what these mounds are? Dirt? 
Well, <laughs> what were they? I mean, were they built just for the purpose of oh, disc golf? Like, you. were they here for the golf course? Or I don't know. I've heard a lot of speculation, but I actually have no idea. I mean, Indian burial <laughs> mounds? Like, what is well, it? Well, if they're Indian burial mounds, I really don't think we should be playing disc golf on I don't them. I think we should, and that, that's why no one's made a putt. That seems like that's how you get, like, a curse or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it, I think it is dirt. <laughs> yeah, it's probably dirt. <laughs> Oh, a spicy little follow through right there. That is a tumbleweed from Lisa. Yeah, that's a really great spot. She kind of pushes it towards those right side trees, but that really is where the most open line is to the basket. And Owen hated that one right out of her hand, just too low. Yeah, she's able to. She laughs it off, she though. She laughed it off. See Missy going back to her tour series, Thrasher. Oh, yeah, she kind of left the body on that one and really followed through. Yeah. Big distance, Missy. Great shot. Own going to the flex sidearm. We saw her throw this really overstable disc earlier. Wow. She just gets, she puts her whole body into yeah. it. So much commitment on that Anheuser angle. It's like a pitch. Yeah. Like a baseball pitch or something. It's It's really different than... Most players, period. Yeah, certainly. And Lisa putting this just left of the mound. She'll have a putt for birdie if she wants it, but that is, again, a scary putt. So Sai went and forced her off the tee, and she's going gatekeeper into the green here. Fades off a little early. Yeah, she'll have a similar look to Lisa. Doable if you want to run it, but so risky. Oh, and this is Meteor from Missy, and she really got on top of that one. That is a big-time misfire there. Let's see. Oh, and this will be... This is going to take some touch. But I love that nose up, just trying to float it onto that second tier. A much it doesn't look like it's that much closer but it really does take a ton of stress off if you can get just a little bit up that mound for a putt a little sigh of relief huh <laughs> yeah a little bit these are this it, yeah missy just so laying though. that up and lisa laying that up she had she was a little further back than i thought sometimes on this kind of hole it's like nice to actually be too short to run it yeah. Because it makes your decision very easy yeah. and you don't feel bad about it. Just the psychology of it, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't feel like you've let the fans down or yourself down for not a, not even attempting it. Yeah. I feel that. Well, especially the ladies on this card. They're such strong putters. Like it, It's got to hurt to lay one up from anything inside of 50. And another solid putt. I mean, that that's a short putt. That's an 18-foot putt, but... The consequences of a miss there. Yeah, they're I mean, they're you can bad. Just go back and, and forth. That OB line is right behind the mound. It's very easy to hit something and roll and end up with an OB stroke as well as a thirty foot comebacker. So we see Sai making good on the par as well. Yeah, so we just had four birdies. I'm gonna shout them out: Aria Castruita, Hannah, Win, Win. Thank you, Holland, Danny, Clydon, and. Leah Sinagini are the four competitors who Wow, that's that's an impressive get. I'm surprised we have four. Yeah, that's impressive. They're more was... more bold putters than I am, that's for sure. Yeah. It was the fourth most difficult hole or the fourth hardest. Here we've got hole twelve, a par four, four hundred and sixty-five feet. We see the drone flying through the early gap where there is a mando tree off on the right side as well as an OB line. Usually the play is some kind of turnover backhand or a sidearm trying to get to this middle section and then trying to push something through this late gap up this little hill into the basket. There is an alternate route if you want to go more straight and left off the tee. Uh, that gives you, if you push the disc far enough, it gives you just a wide open look into the basket. Orbit See. Felon for Sai. Yeah, and she's going more for that uh, left side gap. 
which will have a nice open look to the pin. This is a curl for Lisa. She's been throwing this disc well this round. Yep, going for that right side gap. That trash can's a pretty good landing zone. She's a bit right of it. She may have a hard time finding a gap into the green. Then own just another full commit sidearm. Missy with the subtle leopard print shirt. I don't know if you've seen this one up close. I, I I don't know if I noticed. I did warm up next to her. It's pretty sweet. Check it out next time it. in a month when she wears it again. Really I mean, liked it. it. Thrasher off the tee there for Missy. And it's, it's hard to really... If, it seems like it's hard to mess up this drive. You know, you say that. I almost found that OB right side today off the tee. Oh, right side. Yeah. Wow. If you go far enough, there's OB. Okay, yeah, she does have a subtle little leopard print and also an incredible upshot. Beautifully done, skipping something up that hill. That's exactly how you draw it up. Lisa did have a bit of a tricky gap and doesn't quite make it out. And own also with a little bit of a tricky gap. So think about that right side gap. You really need to push it as far right as you can to give yourself an easy approach. Otherwise, it's probably better to go for that wide left gap. Okay, so while we're here on these putts, 2019, you started playing disc. When was it that you were like, okay, I'm going to play pro and like try to make money? Let's see. I decided to like make it my job. Actually, it was a couple weeks after having an interview with Terry Miller where I specifically said, no, I am not going on tour. And then a couple weeks later, I was like, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go. So where was that interview? What to what tournament are we talking uh, about? It was right after Veterans Park Open. Okay. So I won Veterans Park Open in 2021. You did? Yeah. That was the A-tier? Yeah. Wow. The A -tier. No way. Kinda. Veterans Park. That was one of the first disc golf courses I played in 1999. Wow. At the age of seven. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it gave me really bad poison ivy the first time I played it, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, That was Luke Humphrey's first A-tier win. That was Emerson Key's first A-tier win. Wow. Yeah. Well, it wasn't my first A-tier win. Oh, it wasn't it your was first. My, it was my second A-tier win. What was your first? Uh, it was... Oh, what is it called? <laughs> oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> the Stop one in it. by Sally at California. The end of the trail classic, that one. That's awesome. That was the first one. Okay, so thank, thanks for the for the Holland history there. And we've got to give a shout out to Cat Merch for carding the Eagle 2. No way. Here on the 12th. Did she have a putt a or did she throw it in? 40 footer. What? What did she throw? I'm guessing she flipped up that turn. I think she's I'm throwing a pink her, turn. That's, or that the, is a nasty Or eagle. flippy, flippy Thunderbird. Maybe she does have a very flippy Thunderbird. Hamas needs to get something going. And in, Adam Hamas. Hole in one. Incredible. Here we go. Hole 13, par 3, 315 feet. Got two pretty good options here. There's this nice straight gap up the middle. There is plenty of room on the left side if you decide to go with more of a turnover or a sidearm. Uh, pretty skippy green. You can see a lot of dirt, a lot of hard pack. So again, we got to control the skip here. Pretty fast green. Pretty fast green. Yep. Headed back toward this retention pond of the old golf course. Yeah, that's true. If you throw it far enough, you can throw it out of bounds into oh, the water. No. Missy kind of yanking that one over a little bit. Yeah, kept dragging too. There's really not too much wind. That was, was maybe a 
She just got on top of that one a little bit. Yeah, it was interesting. It was really windy when we practiced all week. We probably had sustained winds about 15 miles per hour, mm-hmm. and then it's just been dead calm this weekend. And so how do you think that, you know, how does that af- affect the, the the average competitor out there? Yeah, it's it's tough. I almost prefer the opposite, where it's calm and you make your game plan and then you adjust for wind. Okay. Mostly because when it, when it's windy, everyone's going to score a little bit worse. But when it's calm, you almost have to score, especially a course like this, which is birdie or die. Wow, that just Ooh. got so much hoverboard distance. That's yeah, crazy. just hovering over the clover field right there and yeah. almost got back to edge. And I mean, a lot of the times when Owen is throwing those sharp annies, like you almost gasp because you think that she's throwing throwing a cut roller yeah. and then all of a sudden it flexes out and it's a good shot but mm-hmm. that one just didn't quite have the height to come back yeah oh great bid from missy but yeah going back to adjusting for for wind it's just you have to know your discs and your distances really well and you have to not be afraid to kind of deviate from the game plan oh wow that was a tricky little life for lisa there Good bit though. Yeah, it's an unfortunate lie she had. She was mm-hmm. she was dealing with that one for a bit, deciding if she wanted to kind of split those pines right there and opts to go with the Annie and unfortunate after a pretty decent drive and Yeah, it's always a bummer to be in the circle and not have a look. So what what are your thoughts? I mean, I know you're a Discraft sponsored player now, but what what are your where do you rate the Chainstar Pro basket? In general, I like it. It did spit me out very rudely at uh, Open at Austin. Mm. So, at what what part of the basket are we talking? High was, on the third. It was third a layer? tap in elevated basket, just a little tap in. The nose was up a little bit. It flipped backwards and hit the basket and then flopped out. Mm. Wild. In general, I think it's one of the better baskets. Maybe not the best, but one of the better ones for sure. Cool. Here we've got a hole of 14, a par four, 513 feet. You're looking to throw maybe a slow turnover or kind of a sawed off forehand. It's very easy to go OB long on this drive. You actually don't want to get a ton of distance off the tee. You just want to get in a good enough position to open up this second shot into the green. Really, you want to get close to the OB, make the corner, and then have a nice straight shot, either forehand or backhand. Uh, into the basket there is ob all along that cart path on the left side and if you do manage to push it too far right on your second shot there is a creek down there yeah missy is is another player that like own is just has that same almost release angle every time with mm-hmm. with the same disc. Yeah, she's got her game plan and she sticks to it. In fact, she purposefully doesn't like to practice with other people. Okay. So she isn't influenced by their game. So she's making all of that. her decisions with her caddy. Yeah. Solely based around her game. I love that. I mean, some of that extra input from well, especially when a player just has a completely different skill set and they just have a different speed, they're throwing different discs, and I actually didn't know that about Missy. Yeah, it just goes to show there's a lot of ways to score in disc golf. Sai going with this nice turnover. Oh, that just needed a little more height. That was such a good angle. Yeah, that was a hard mace turnover know what that is yeah i think it's another like slow maybe even putt and approach yeah she's throwing a lot of uh, molds that i don't think the trilogy bland brands really make that much anymore it was a great shot from own another force over with that halo destroyer i'm guessing oh and kind of a rare forehand here from missy hey not bad not bad she has been working on the forehand but she's definitely more confident with that backhand, but really awesome to see a nice clean release from Missy there. Oh, another little grunt. Yeah, she was trying to throw that in from deep. James Conrad always says grunt for 10% extra power. <laughs> I love that. 
We got side with the circle two look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She is just she can't teasing. Miss today. I love this. She can't oh, miss today and she knows it. Oh, the reaction oh, cam. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful disc. It was. I love wow. this. This is like the NFL camera right here. I love that. We're just running back with the player. It really yeah. puts us on the course with them. Let's see how Missy responds. Oh, just a little low. I thought she was going to do it twice. I, the I last really time did that, too. Yeah. Like I said, nothing nothing motivates Missy more than someone making a bigger putt. Oh yeah, you dropped one in. Here you go. Mhm. Mm she's low key a very competitive person. Yeah. Like she's not in your face about it, but she's very competitive. I actually was talking trash to her during a board game at two o'clock in the morning one night, and she looked at me. She said, "I'll rip your hair out." <laughs> Don't mess with Missy, y'all. She is awesome. <laughs> Very competitive. And look at this. Open palm. Doesn't matter. Wobbling into the bucket. This has just been a treat to watch. I feel like we could take each of those slow-mos we've had over the last the entire round, and they are identical. She's as just far, a, as far as the form. Yeah, as okay. far as the form. Yeah, very repeatable form. Just add in a little bit of extra leg to get that power. Hole 15, par four, 654 feet. This is almost kind of the reverse of the last hole. So you want to throw a nice distance line and then cut the corner with a shorter shot. Kind of a skip shot's what you have to go for, or a big okay. turnover into this green. Really, really hard three to get. Yeah. Um, there's some branches that kind of make it hard to throw the high turnover. Yeah. I think I really think the play to attack this green is to throw a sidearm on the second shot. I've seen that quite a few times now where they don't quite get the distance off the tee and they go for that high turnover and find those kind of protector mm -hmm. branches up yeah, there. That's a great spot to attack from Sai. I love that backhand turnover line to get as much distance as possible. Yeah, those Ballista Pro from Sai, and uh, of course that um, Halo Destroyer from Own. Yeah, and Own's in a great spot. It's going to be hard to go for a three from there. But as long as you can kind of get past that initial line of trees, you've got an opportunity. Does anyone else on Discraft throw the Thrasher? I almost never hear of anyone. I don't, I don't know. Tim Barham? Maybe. I don't know what Tim throws. Yeah. I know Paige doesn't really throw it. No. I don't know what Valerie's throwing okay. just yet. Um, I think Paige Shoe is going more Surge S and Crank, oh. I want to say. What's your go-to driver right now? Uh, nukes and Forces, although lately cool. I've been leaning more toward Forces as stuff's kind of starting to beat in a little bit. Cool. And then Own going back to that Stable Destroyer. She's at the mouth of the gap. She's got a long circle two's edge bid. And we'll see Sai going for that turnover. And yeah, she kind of catches those early branches. It's just such a hard line to try and hit. And that was that hard mace again. Missy going to jump putt, Ooh, but Ooh. leaks that way right. Yeah, that didn't quite connect from the legs up on that one. You could kind of tell she pulled it a bit. Yeah, that's like that weird tweet. Oh, she almost brings it up oh, anyway. Oh, man. You know, there's that kind of weird tweener distance where you, f it feels a little too short to throw it, but mm -hmm. it's too long to jump putt it. Yep. And which one do you do? Oh, no. Oh, wow. That is not a good spot. This is going to be a really hard par save. Yeah, she just had too much stuff in her way. Couldn't really give that a bid. So casual. She's yeah. just having a conversation. She's like, hang on, <laughs> let me butt. And it's goes amazing. Right back. It's amazing. <laughs> I was just out here having a practice around y'all. So she, they actually saw a massive snapping turtle down there in the pond. 
that's what her conversation was about pre and post putt. Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's good conversation. Snapping turtle is pretty pretty sick find. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Missy just happened in that bogey. That's a bummer. You get a nice slow mo of Lisa. I like what Lisa does with her off arm, just leaving it on the leg. Sometimes you see people get a little wild with it, but it's a very nice controlled way to throw. So we're checking our leaderboard after 15 holes. Sai holding on to now a two stroke lead over Own. And we've got a certain world champion creeping up into third place. Hole 16 is a par 3, 267 feet. A couple of different options here. I think the main gap is actually on the right side, throwing something mid-range to fairway or even a putter. Um, just kind of a pushing hyzer. And really just you want to avoid kicking early, if anything. Second easiest hole on yeah, the track. Yeah, this is... I, I like this one. This is one... Everyone can get this one and it almost it puts a little bit of extra pressure because you know everyone can get this one and Sai kind of bends that one around to the right and lets it just hyzer back into the into the green really great shot moonshine harp for Sai and it and We spoke about this during round one, but I want to touch on it again own does not care if the holes 267 she doesn't care that everyone else is throwing mid or Fairway, mm -hmm. she will throw what she wants to throw. She's throwing yeah. destroyer. A lot, of, a lot of similarities between her and Missy's game because Missy's that way with the thrasher. That might have even been a thrasher. I'm not sure. But, you know, she doesn't care what the distance is. She doesn't care what anyone else is throwing. She's going to throw a thrasher. And, you know, there, there's a lot there's a lot of good, uh, good things to say about that because it's like you're playing your own game. You don't care what other people are doing, and that's how you're going to score the best, especially on these pro tour courses. Yeah, great bounce back from Missy, getting her back under the par for the round. Always feels good when you have a bogey to, to follow it up with a birdie. I like when we get the whole, like, walk to the lie, place down the putter, drop the whale sack, get the whole routine. It kind mm -hmm. of, like, it feels like you're there with her. And yeah. her, her routine has kind of, I, I feel like it's become iconic at this point because mm -hmm. it's the same routine every time. Mm-hmm. And you can see her, like, you can see her confidence each time she approaches it. It's not like she's convincing herself that she can make it. Like, she already knows. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's, I've heard her say that's the biggest strength in her game is really her mental game and her confidence. It, it doesn't matter what's happened on previous holes. She knows she's going to make the putt. And I think that might have been size first miss. She's just, we're so used to seeing her connect. It's almost, an, it's almost weird to see her miss one, but she's got a little breathing room, still one stroke over own. Lisa kind of on a long par streak there, seven holes in a row, par. Well, it's hard to do. There's that slow-mo. So much commitment on that putt, just her entire body online, right on the pole. What are your thoughts on the 17th? This is one of those holes where, I mean, you can you can just lay this one up if you're not feeling it. Yeah, you can. I, I don't know 100% how I feel for this one because honestly, I love having a big stroke swing, but I feel like it's too easy to just play it for par. I feel like it needs to be a little more enticing to go for it. Um, so we've okay. got par three, 297 feet. You're really throwing out this peninsula uh, it's not super wide. It's about the width of the circle, but you're not going to get a ton of ground action. As we see, own. I like this play of going the flex sidearm, putting it 
on the fat short side of the peninsula and giving yourself a long bid, but kind of taking the bogey out of play. We see Missy going for the more aggressive line, and she's left this too low and too inside. Oh, it just continued yeah, to just bounce and roll, and it finds the OB there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure if she was trying to lay that up or if that was just kind of an undercommitted shot. Um, and then Sai, she's she's already seen what owns thrown, so she just goes for a nice easy layup play. It's like Lisa does the same. That's the only thing I don't love about this yeah, hole is I hear that. even, you know, your lead card ladies who are, you know, the people scoring the best are the ones who are not attacking this hole. Yeah. I think it would be cool if you could maybe make it a longer hole and now it's a par four. So you can try to pick a landing zone and have an approach shot into the green. Yeah. Cause it's a beautiful little peninsula. Yeah, here. I, I think the feature is fantastic, but I think with where the T pad is right now, too many Ladies are going to be conservative with it. Oh, that was such a good bid from Owen. Yeah, the rest of the whole card will clean up their pars. Oh, excuse me, bogey for Missy. I forgot about the opening. Yeah, pretty stroke. pretty significant bogey there as there's a battle going on for that final spot on the the lead card. Sai and Own are looking good for that lead card, and I believe you are yeah, you've got a me. decent spot. Myself and, and Kristen, we just birdied 16. She birdied 17. I took a par on 17. And so we're right there in contention for those final uh, lead card spots. So here, hole 18, we've got an island hole, 272 feet. You need to throw over this beautiful pond slightly uphill. And then there is OB directly behind the basket. So you really need to control the distance here. Yeah, does this one give you that kind of nervy feeling? Not really. Honestly, for me, this distance is kind of perfect for a full buzz shot. Okay. So I can kind of just chuck one at that big middle tree just like Owen's doing and trust that it's going to fade. That was scary for a moment. That can roll. But she sits down. She's fine. This is getting a little too stable for Sai, but uh, she's inbounds. Wow, in the circle. I take as well. it back. That was fine. Yeah. <laughs> this needs to stay in the air. Yeah, good shot from Lisa. Right on the edge of circle. Missy going back to that trusty thrasher. This looks good. It needs to sit. <laughs> Owen oh. Scoggins calling for the ace. And just a little long. Oh, and an unfortunate bogey, bogey finish for Missy's round. Yeah, it's a real bummer, especially after such a, a nice comeback or a nice uh, bounce back birdie on hole 16. Give it a call, Holland. You think she's cashing this one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a late call, but. <laughs> what a beautiful putt. So good. And look at the smile. Oh, she's just having the time of her life out here. You love to see it. I, I love to see it as well. And healthy gallery here. And, and that's so great when, you know, you've just made kind of a scary decision to, to go on tour and to commit to this lifestyle and to, and to have a really solid start to your season. Got the bridge in the background crossing the greens by a couple of pretty epic bridges out here. At Brock yes, Park. there was like there was some cool drone shots of people just walking across the bridge. It was, cool. it was, it's so cool to see so many people out here watching disc golf. It it really makes us as the players feel special and and loved, and we we really love when you guys come out. Oh, and one more slow mo from 
the woman who oh, monopolized the, the, the fist bump from Lisa back there. You love to see the support and the hype for, for the women supporting each other. And a clean eight under par. I believe she was the only FPO to go bogey free today. And she's just got one bogey on the tournament. That's crazy, especially with how much OB is out here. Yeah, and how much wind and rain they had during that first yes, round. And yes, definitely. I believe we've got some inclement weather. Rain weather. is in the forecast for tomorrow. Uh, that's unfortunate. But yeah, taking a look at our leaderboard, uh, Kristen and I did manage to bump Lisa and Missy off of the lead card. Uh, so we will join Sai and Own for round three. <laughs> 